Welcome to Zero Page Home for your best source for the newest Atari games and tonight we're not going to be playing 2600. No. Nope. We got to replace that sign. Oh no. 7800 games. There we go. 7800. Actually, let's turn it around so they can see it. So it's the right way up for you. There we go. It's all about you and the cats too. Yeah. Um, today we're going to be playing two Atari 7800 games. One is kind of a preview. It's it's at the beginnings of what it's going to be. Okay. But I thought I'd show it off now because it looks fun. Mm. And um, it's enough to show what's going on in the game. <laughs> Bad cat. <laughs> um, and uh, Ducks Away by uh, Blake Smith, Smitty B. Oh, nice. Who's in the chat, Yay, I believe. Hey, Smitty B. And also we're going to be playing Drelbs, which is a port for okay. the 7800. Okay by Kelly PCL Jones. And uh, we actually have uh, Flex6809 who just did a port of the game Drelbs. Oh, nice. For the 6809 line of computers. Nice. And he just saw Drelbs and he's like, hey. <laughs> I know. Drelbs, it's gonna, they're gonna be playing it. Cool. <laughs> yes, we are. So that's that's great. Um, And then we're gonna do an After Dark. Oh, we are? Yes. Oh. We're gonna try and get through alien abduction to oh, level twenty. Oh yes, you without, got close. Without got cat close. interference this cat, time, cat, hopefully. Cat, cat interference. Cat interference. Cat interference. And then I'm yeah. gonna try for hero. Oh my goodness. Because it's made by the same person. I'll get a little bit of uh, practice. Okay. With Might need another alien beer abduction. after that then. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then go mm -hmm. into hero, um, but that's later. That's after the show. It's so warm here. It oh. is very warm very in the warm. studio. 27.5? 27.5, yeah. Yeah, it's warm. It's warm enough. Because uh, it's humid here. It may mm. not seem like a very high temperature, but it is. Uh, it's hot for us. <laughs> I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Scrolling down there. All the forearms, car, quarter, Atari 800, XO, rules, Atari 974, Atari Age, Beef Supreme, Beer, Poke Up, Balfalo, Pinball, Captain Man, Dude, Charles Donnie, Mal, Charles Whelan, Chit Lila, Colonel Lamont, Cubanismo, Cubanismo, Dianoi, Danibacy, Direct, Soldock, Moo, Cal, Gamma, Dab, Blaine, Main Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Jew Rapper, Johnny it's WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Better, Proco 2600, yum, yum, yum. Land Express, Lauren DDZ, Mark Hannes. Yes, you'll get your treats in a second. Calm, calm. I ask for calm. Uh, Mark Space Inc., Melitari, Mick Muse, Mike Saul, Mike Lodell, Miss Command, MK Swift, so Mr. Zarm, Wist of Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Neo Media, Nostalgic Coog, R. Androids, RC70, Render Ghost, Prentice VD, Rodcastler, Six Weeks, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spice Horror, S. Ramirez, Teleprompter, Destined, and Walking. Uh, Tiki Dan K, Tifos, Trek MD, VVD Double Down, X Ken X, and if you want your name on that list, like all those people, it's free with Amazon Prime. Just yep. hit subscribe on the Twitches, and you'll get your name on there. Mm -hmm. And you'll get. <laughs> He's just staring, going, "Mao, Mao, Mao." Here's a treat, Mao. I was promised treats, Mao. <laughs> and you'll get to keep these cats fed in treats. So let's yeah. get to the treats. Yes, Smitty B. <laughs> Oh, Here. oh! I got that. You You'll get the treats. Those. I'll grab the treats. Are you ready, kitties? They're like we were born ready. Yeah, this cat. Oh, my space. goodness! They're a little meowy. Just a little bit meowy. Just a little bit meowy. Switch over. Yeah. Meow, meow. Are you ready? And go. Let's clear the board. Oh. Who did that? Who did that? Oh, Sprite. Although uh, Atari, oh Sprite, that's two for Sprite. Oh my God! He's Atari caught it me. out of the air. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. That that's interference. Sprite three. three. Come on, Atari. It, Come on, Atari. Oh, Atari. Caught it with this. Oh, did he get oh, it? Yes, he did. Okay. I think Good so. Good kitties. Oh, he ran off. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Sprite is four. Just destroying. Sprite was holding quite the conversation. Good Atari. First one for Atari. Who is that? Sprite? Sprite. Okay. Five to two for Sprite. Oh, Atari's trying for Try his third point. Oh, there good. he gets it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Turn him too high. Or did he back Oh, he there? ran off again. Six three for Sprite. Atari is wasting time by exiting the room. <laughs> uh, Sprite is a little confused. There he goes. Seven three. Sp Atari, you didn't, you you, didn't, you hit, didn't it. hit it. Didn't hit it. There good you go. Kitty. Seven four. Oh, still for Sprite took it from Atari. Stolen. Well, that, that's even. A point. That's even because Atari stole one from Sprite earlier. Okay. So now they're, Sprite they're again. Even. 
Atari's like, what the hell happened? What is going on? Spri oh. oh, Sprite! It is now oh. game point. There's Atari gets five. Oh Sprite is at nine points. One more and he wins the round. Penalty point. Well, it evened out. Oh, oh, double ring and Sprite wins the tournament. And a couple of chicken feet. Ten to six. Some extras there for you guys. Silly cats. So silly. Oh but my goodness. Thank you so much, Gamma Dev. Yes. The cats <laughs> love you. Yes. And and Sprite was like ready. <laughs> he was ready. Sprite was like, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready now. Now. I've been practicing. Now. 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 <laughs> Give it to me now. Practicing the whole oh, time. Oh my goodness. Sprite was on it. Um. So mail news and feedback. <laughs> Some. Uh, I redid the layout here. Oh. And it's yes, you did. much much cleaner. Uh, you guys can't really see it, but um, yeah, actually you never hidden. see it. So yeah. anyway, I'm going to show it because it's quite clean. Now. Um, so the cabling is all redone. You can see it very, very clean. Just a few cables, just the essentials coming out. So it's much cleaner for me to be able to hook up the uh, systems go and to switch over the systems as well um, in turn makes it easier uh, all over and also I replaced the hub I used to have an eight port hub there mm. now I've replaced with a four port hub because I saw Linus tech tips <laughs> the other day and he yeah. was talking all about hubs he was like trying to max out hubs get the best guess like no, just performance out of max them? them out. Oh, I like see. Like he plugged in hundreds of keyboards and mice what? into one computer. Oh my goodness. And he explained that anything over four ports on a hub yeah. adds another hub. It's just a hub inside the hub. Yeah. Uh, so I replaced my eight port hub with a four port. Okay. And also eliminated a hub in between that hub and my computer. Oh my goodness. So three down to one. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's going to make any... You know, there's some scandal of LTT. I don't know. They oh, gave, really? They gave away something and they weren't supposed to. Oh. Didn't read too much into it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's going to make a difference in performance, but maybe. Maybe it'll help out. Yeah. We've It's been doing so pretty good so far. Yeah. Um, speaking of Smitty B... Alna Force saw, saw the video too. <laughs> ah, yeah. I was like, oh, I learned a lot about Hubs today. <laughs> I like it when you learn something. Yeah, it is yeah. nice. Um, a new release posted for PRGE from Atari Age. Mm. It's going to be Plum Luck DX uh, by Blake Smith, Smitty B. And the Very nice. artwork on the packaging is done by a William Thorpe. Love it. Jagbit. Very nice. Uh, really nice. Uh, yeah. It's taken from the um, graphics in the game right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to open the door? Um, well, I guess I probably should. Because there's a fan, a fan there. there, and it allows more airflow. Thank you. Um, so that's the fifth official game. Mm. Sixth, if you count AWA compilation, which hasn't been officially announced, or the gra or the packaging artwork hasn't been officially announced either. Um, so that's uh, the fifth one so far released. Um, and uh, we played this on the show. You have to connect the pipe from the start. To the end. I like those games. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So a little bit of puzzle, a little bit of action. Really mm -hmm. nice. Um, so PRG releases so far. Death Merchant for the 7800. Game the Bear Too Much to Bear is 2600. Berry Fun 2600. Electro Ball 2600. Mm -hmm. And Plum Luck DX 7800. And not officially announced yet. AWA compilation for the 8-bit and 5200. Nice. So 5-6. Nice. So let's get to the first game, which is Ducks Away. Not Ducks Ahoy. Not Ducks Ahoy. That's for the twenty six or the C sixty four. I know, and I've got Probably the song in my ones. head ever since since I saw ducks on the screen. <laughs> oh, I've been no. like quack 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 quack. Is that the one where the ducks walk along? <laughs> yep. And then they hop into the boat. You have to pick go, them up in the boat and move them, and but move if them somewhere. and I, you lose a life if they end up in the water, so you have to make sure they which get is like off the Frogger. screen. Which doesn't make any sense. No, oh, no. the duck fell in the water. It's yes, going to die. That's very true. Oh, no. <laughs> that's very true. That poor duck. <laughs> uh, all anyway. you can say is, like, it's poison water. 
And then, and then you, it is like the Venice canals, I think. It so is, it could you be go, quite. It could be quite uh, toxic. Because they go over top of little bridges, and you take yeah. the boat through bridges. Really. Cool and then you have rapids. to. And then they go. Uh, uh, jump. Do, do, do. That's a game I had on my C sixty four. Me too. Yeah. Um, so this, the first binary so for this is November 18th, 2022. He hasn't posted in the Atari Age mm. forums. It's mostly been on the Atari Age Discord, mm. where I've been following along with his progress. Um, and the size of this game is 128K. So let's load it up. Uh, video game water is especially deadly. Yes. Frogger dies in water too, though, yes. Deadly, deadly yeah. water. Okay. Don't drink the water, yeah. So this is a two-player game. Well, actually, it's one to four players. Mm. So we're going to include this game in our four-player marathon mm. when it cools down. Because mm. <laughs> two people's hot enough. Imagine oh. four oh. for a long time. So oh. that'll be late September, October so. yeah. kind of thing. Uh, so let's switch over to the 7800. And load it up. <laughs> Water's just blue lava. That's right. So we just have two joysticks plugged in. I'm going to plug in four later with the Quad Tari because that's how it gets four player support. Okay. Through the Quad Tari. Um, so in this game, you can be you can play one by yourself, but don't move the joystick yet. Nope. Um, now and this is the menu selection screen. You can play two different ways one you can play with a what is it like a water gun pop gun i think it's called in this okay or you can be the dog and you can catch the ducks that way okay so you can either have a an aim on the okay. screen or you can be a dog in the bottom and jump up for the ducks and catch them in the and air. catch them in the air that's cute and they're trying to steal your carrots you, the ducks the garden <laughs> yes the ducks are stealing the carrots. Okay. Bad ducks. Okay. Ducks are very naughty. Mm. Um, and later, uh, Smitty B is going to add support for the light gun as well. Oh, nice, nice. Yes. They're fed up with stale bricks, yep. Smitty mm -hmm. B says. Mm. Okay, so on this screen, you press right, left or right to pick the, the um, gun or the dog. And as soon as you start moving the joystick, the timer counts down. So we <gasps> both have to select within five seconds. All right. Okay, so go for it. You gonna be doggy? Sure. Okay, and then you just wait for it to. Oh, I see. You get five seconds. Gotcha. It's no, there's no sound. Except for the aim. What? So I'm, I'm the. Oh my I'm goodness. the crosshairs. You got him. There's, there's no score yet in the game. No score. Oh, I see. There will be a score. There will be a score. So I'll aim, I'll aim high, and you aim low, because that's all you can do. I'll stay at the top, getting the ducks at the top. Oh, he's still in the carrot! No! Come back here, duck! Ah! Oh, oh, he got away. That was terrible. So I'm guessing the scoring will either be how many ducks you shoot or how many carrots you've saved or the carrots will be lives where it's like oh if they steal all the carrots um then you lose hmm. i'm having tr I'm not doing a great get job em. get them come on puppy. i'll let you do it i feel like i hit them but they they don't necessarily yeah, you do you got that one there we go you're getting them slowly i'm sure Sound effects will be added in for the dog for the getting dog. the duck. Yeah. So it's like adjacent to duck hunt. Yeah, it's cute. But super cute. It's a little different because duck hunt operates very, very differently. Why am I not jumping very much? What's going on now? Is it up or button to jump? Button. Well, it is a work in progress. Uh, yeah. A little bit of something going on here. I'm not jumping up at all. Ducks, give me my carrots. Like it's looking like it's going to jump, but it's it, not there jumping. There you go. Yes, it wasn't jumping during that wave. You ran out of stamina. Oh, did I? No. 
<laughs> I don't know. Is there a stamina bar? Maybe there is. I mean, I can hold down the button and, like, have a rapid fire. So that might be a thing to add in as a stamina bar for the dog. Maybe. And you can't and you... jump super hot. Like, it goes lower and lower. Or you have to wait a bit for your stamina mm -hmm. to go up. And and the gun might have to reload, maybe. Oh. The gameplay is much more interesting than Duck Hunt. Because of the carrots cute. and super the multiplayer cute. as well. And super it's super cute. cute. And the ducks have, like, toupees. They do have toupees? <laughs> They're so cute. They have blonde toupees. <laughs> Got them. Uh, there's something with the dog where it collides with nothing occasionally. So oh, he says. okay. But, uh, yeah, that whole wave, I couldn't jump up oh, at okay. all. Oh, okay, there's an invisible wall something, or something. Yeah, something was blocking my movement. And, of course, it would probably have individual scores. But I would think that there would be a disadvantage to being the dog at that point. So it might be a more of a cooperative game because the dog can't go everywhere. But the the crosshairs can cover the whole screen. I was going to say maybe have the crosshairs when there's two on the screen cover the top and the dog the bottom. But I don't know if that's something that can be done. Mm, oh, yeah. You just limit how far down the screen. So the like can the go. dog has to cover the wall kind of thing. Yes. That might be a good idea. If there's a dog in play, the dog has to cover the bottom. Yeah. And if you see that the clouds move in behind. It's so pretty. Oh, it's these really nice. birds are super cute. Smitty B. <laughs> They're so cute. My goodness. The dog can jump pretty high. He's pretty good. Goes a little higher than the... A little higher than the wall. Yeah, just a little higher. It's a good jumper. Looks kind of like a cat when he's on the ground. I don't no. think so. No. The tail's not long enough. Um, so Good let's evening, Kathy, man. take a look at the Quadtari oh, okay. version of this. So cute. So you keep those so two cute. joysticks. Oh my goodness. Am I playing both at the same time? Uh, no. Oh. We'll just be seeing kind of a bit of the Quadtari because it's not Can full. you control the height of the dog's jump? Ooh, that'd be good. Um... I think it's just one, isn't I it? I think it's just one, but if you hit a duck, you fall back to the ground. You don't seem to have much movement in the air. Okay, it's just a jump? It's like a straight up and down jump, but I'll have to try that again. Ryan Duckling. <laughs> so, so you are player one and two. 160A, 160B for most objects. don't know. Not 320 more. Am I what? Sorry? You're player one and two. Okay. I'm player three and four. Kind of. Okay. Don't press anything. So you can see it senses yeah. that there's four joysticks on the screen now. Or four joysticks and four players. No midair control at the yeah. moment. Not where they're sure whether to add it means I don't you think have it to time your jumps properly. Needs it. No. Especially when there's a lot of ducks on the screen, you just kind of move to your position, jump up and down, move, jump up and because down. Because you just so. have to collide, right? You don't yeah. have to bite them or do anything. It's just you hit them, you get them. Yeah, and then if you hit them, you fall back down. Which is an advantage of the dog over yeah. the crosshairs, because in the crosshairs, you have to press the button. Yes. Okay, so yeah. it shows four players. It knows the Quadtari is there. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So we've got three pop guns and a dog. Okay. So this isn't going to work properly because you can see mine. Oh. Um, I'm controlling two crosshairs at the same time and it's constantly oh, shooting. The dog isn't jumping yet either. No. Oh, I control the jumping of the dog. Do you? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. So it's a little, a li a little, uh, little things are happening. Like you control the movement of the dog, right? I'm not controlling the movement of one of the crosshairs right now. That dog is moving. Yeah. You control the move. But my yeah. crosshair isn't moving on the yeah. other one. Yeah. So it's it's just yeah. been implemented the quadtari. So Fair enough. All the Still bugs working. haven't worked out. Yeah. I love that the jumping is controlled by another controller. <laughs> <laughs> jump. <laughs> Jump, 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 jump. There we go. All right. So eventually Neat. four people will be able to play it. I'm not sure how the... Let me turn that down. How the light gun is going to work 
with multiplayer. Okay. Um, whether it'll be, I don't think you can do four players with the light gun. I don't know if the light gun works with the Quadtari. I've never, I've never seen anybody talk about light gun and Quadtari. Flickery, very flickery. Um, and if you hooked up your bells to the two controllers, Sprite and Atari could play. Ooh, yes, they yes. could. They could. Yeah. Somebody needs to make a game for the cats. All you need <laughs> to do Atari. is take the bell, but instead of hitting the bell, it hits the, the button. Yes. Yeah. So that when they depress it, it goes. And click. maybe it can make like a, a ding, ding on the screen. Yes. And then the bell's <gasps> active. Yes. And they have to ding it yes. to reply. And then they get a treat somehow. I'm not sure. <laughs> Somebody have to work that out. Mm. The cats have limited capabilities, though. Light gun is dead simple. There'll be four player light gun support? <gasps> oh my what? god. No one has light guns. Nobody has four light guns. <laughs> I only have one. There must but be. Does anyone make um, aftermarket? They're, aftermarket light they're guns? They're expensive. I bet. They're about as expensive as buying um, used ones. I used, uh, yeah, like yeah. an original. Yeah, mm. and those are not cheap either. Mm. Um, so I really wanted to show that game because I've been following along with the progress. And uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun mm. when uh, when you can get four players going on it. <laughs> no one has four light guns. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. <laughs> that is a pipe dream. Okay. You have to get all your friends who have light gun guns I and invite them, them to a light gun party. That's right. And then, then you can play it. You're not allowed over unless you have Unless you have, you a, have light gun. a light gun. There will be <laughs> a bouncer with you. at yeah. the door. You've got to show your light gun. As ID. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get all this extra stuff out of the way. I think Drobes is just one joystick. <laughs> so just... Yeah, maybe a PRGE sometime a demo with four light guns <gasps> can happen. Ooh. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, that be, would be, be cool. a crowd pleaser, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Four light gun game mm -hmm. on the 7800? Wow. Is there allowed to be more than one light gun per province? <laughs> Not in Canada. I'm nope. sure there's policy somewhere. Just one light gun per yeah. province. And I've got one, so I guess I'm the only one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. We're going to go on to the second game. I know that one was short, but uh, that's okay. We're it would need a, a safety warning with the amount of screen flicker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's take a look. This is a port of an Atari 8-bit game um, from um, <laughs> 1983. Yeah. So let's take a look at the video of the original. I'm going to talk a little bit about this okay. game. Yeah, it's toasty. Oh, it's toasty. Yeah, it's a toasty, toasty day. Here we have open carry light guns. <laughs> open carry light guns. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, the Americans. Okay. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This is the Atari 8-bit version. Uh, it was released on the Apple II, Atari 8-bit on Commodore 64. I've never played this on the Commodore 64, so I guess I didn't have it. Mm. I don't remember it. Uh, Drelbs is a maze game written by Kelly Jones for the Atari 8-bit family and published by Synapse Software in 1983. Um, a uh, Commodore 64 version and followed in 1984. The object is to move the walls of the maze to make boxes. Some reviewers found the overall collection of elements to be eccentric and unique. Yeah. Um, the playfield is a maze of gates, similar to the Ladybug arcade game, which reminded yeah. me of immediately, uh, which can be rotated 90 degrees by pushing into them. The player controls a walking eyeball called a drelb, uh, with the goal of flipping the gates so they create closed boxes. Ah, uh, but Pers you need to leave a path for yourself. Yes. I don't know if you can enclose yourself. I mean, oh, I bet you I can. I bet you could. I bet you can. Um, pursuing the Drelbs are square trollabores. You can see yeah. them there. Uh, uh, who can also use the gates, but can't seal them into boxes. There's an empty border on the outside of the maze patrolled by screwhead tanks, uh, which shoot at the Drelb. Occasionally, one of the boxes becomes what a manual calls a drobish window to the dark corridor. This leads to a separate screen where the goal is to free by touching as many drobs as possible by avoiding gargo gargolites. Gargolites. Completing the dark corridor or kissing a random appearing mystery lady 
oh, awards a funny. bonus based on the number of completed boxes. Wow. There are eight rounds, each named after a gemstone, and three difficulty levels, novice, tough, and super. In the 7800 version, there's no difficulty levels. Gotcha. Okay, so let's load up. There's the dragon. Will turn into a... No? Or he, he changes the box. Changes around. it back. Oh, okay. Neat. This is pretty neat. I love the concept, and I couldn't wait to play this on the show. Yep. The faces are unsettling, says RC70. <laughs> uh, they are. Uh -huh. I'm have to start talking in a southern drawl with that fan. <laughs> hey, my <laughs> words, it's hot. Ooh, nice. That Very pH nice is hot. looking. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes. Kevin. It is a warm room right now. So this oh, is made so by cool. Kelly PCL Jones. First posted July 9th. This builds from July 24th. Let me just check if there's different difficulty levels. Nope. No. No. Pause. And doesn't go black and white, which is very interesting. Okay, go for it. And I've got some instructions printed out as well for more information. See, if it's already a box, you have to turn it back into a box. So you have to actively make the boxes. Ah. So PCL posted July 9th. This is a 7800 remake of one of my favorite Atari 8-bit games. Uh, it's a 32K ROM with a uh, Pokey at 4000, the same as Ball Blazer, and seems to run okay on everything I've tested it. Uh, the remake not logic may not be 100% identical to the original, but I think I have all the key ah. aspects covered. Um, and he posted on July 30th. You get to the you get the end screen after completing round eight. It does get really fast in the later rounds, but there's a tactical way to play the game. And the tactical way is to just spam level one and get tons of hearts. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, what is that, piggy? Yeah, I, oh, got you the, can trap I got the it. guy. I trapped him. Oh, because you got the heart. I think it paused him, right? So I do have some modified instructions. Oh, looks he like, does come back. Looks like Ganon. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's Dragon. It's going to destroy your square. There's the lady. Go get Where her. Where is he? Too late. Ah! Too late. Drelbs. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom that was very small. It was so small, in fact, that no one larger than flea ever gave it a thought in this tiniest of places there lived a race of peaceful hippity hoppity creature called drelbs That's you. oh um, you trapped it again can you get in that square and get the pig can no. i no no okay uh one day a shadow fell over this happy land it was invaded by trollabores and i guess that's their big face when it goes big, you can see them more up close. Uh, Evil-looking gnomes of squarish stature who, because they are all also were not very large, coveted this miniature land for their own. They came with screwhead tanks to destroy the drelbs and hunted the drelbs just for fun. Although the drelbs were tiny, they were not short on smarts. They led the trollabores to the atomic flip grid in the center of the city and there decided to make their stand. Your task, if you've the courage of a tr friendly drelb, is to defeat the trollabores on the atomic flip grid. You must be fast and cunning to avoid the hunters and save the drelbs from extinction. And above all, you must have heart. Happy blinking, drelb lover. And you can see they're blinking at the top, right where your lives are. It's so cute. Pretty interesting game mechanics for sure. I love unique game mechanics like this. Ah. <gasps> Run! Luckily, the enemies are pretty slow. So you can, you can run away from them. You want to get that lady. I know, but it's very hard to it, you Just go out. near it when it's a dragon. It doesn't always there. become a lady, though. No, it doesn't. Sometimes it disappears. It only flashes twice, but you have to make sure when you, you have to get it when it's a lady and not when it's the dragon. Uh, nice. Phew. 
You completed the level! Oh, no, you didn't. You just got a bonus. I'm not sure how you... Could, how do you complete the level? Is it by score? You have to turn all the squares possible. What? I think. That's hard. I think. Um, the object is to close off as many squares as possible by flipping shut gates of three quarters of complete, completed squares. This may sound complicated, more complicated than it really is. When three quarters, a three quarters sealed box is closed by a gate flip, it will turn into a pulsing square. Uh, in each round, you must secure all the squares possible on the grid. Possible? So there's one right next to you. There you go. And then you just keep completing. And when there's none left, that's, I think, the opportunity when it happens. And there's none left? To make. See, there's many, many possibilities. Yeah, in I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I like the protagonist's single eye looking around. Yeah. Oh, 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 just missed it. It was dangerous. Um, in the many ages since the beginning of all things, in the time of sorcerers and unicorns, magic ruled all kingdoms. Drelbs happily came and went uh, as they pleased, and hardly a cloud passed through their unhurried lives. Sometimes you want clouds. They bring rain. Uh, then the Trollobors claim, came. They brought with them all the evil schemes and sought to enslave all men and Drelbs and to rule the worlds of light and love. Now you've got them all. Oh, now you've got them. It's not done yet. Oh, no, there's one up there where he is. He's guarding it. <gasps> oh, he is guarding it. Oh, now's your time. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, one by one, they caught the hapless drubs and trapped them in the worlds where the light never came. It is into these dark places that you as the last of the drubs must venture in order to save your comrades and restore love to its rightful place. You first appear on the atomic grid in the center of the drubbish kingdom. You'll notice as you hop around the grid, your movement causes the gates to shift position 90 degrees. Um, the trollobars can also flip gates, however, they cannot complete squares of their own. The trollobars are not builders, they are mean and nasty destroyers. You can also trap the evil trollobars inside the squares that you complete. This immobilizes them for only a short time, whereupon they break free and escape. When you have completed all the squares possible on the grid, the squares begin to fill up with grogolites and drelbish windows. Wait patiently and jump through the drelbish window into the dark corridor. There are eight rounds to complete the game. They are Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald, and Topaz, Peridot, Agate, and Amethyst. Amethyst. Oh, bullets. Got me. Migcrete's game says, hmm, newest Atari games, you say. I wonder if I can make, uh, make a publish few, a few for a cartridge. Yeah, if you're a programmer, definitely. Um... If you get in contact with Al at Atari Age and show him what you've made, and he publishes awesome games. Yes. Ah. And he's bringing them to Portland Retro Gaming Expo. So what you've got two say? there in the center. Oh, now I can get in the center. I can get in the center. Oh, nice. And I'll play them on the show, too. <laughs> yep. I play all Atari games. Except for, oh, one more, up, there, now you've done it. Oh, no, you haven't, wow, there you go. No, there's Is that it? top now. Oh. Ah! Ah! Two guys left, now you've done it. Go get the heart, extra life. Go around the other way, go, go, get the heart. Oh, when they turn into that, you have to hop in. Oh, really? Yep, but you have to be very quick. And then don't then don't get hit. Where? Run. Collect all those drelbs. I have to collect get them. them. Yep. Let's rescue your friends. Don't get hit. Stay away from the monster. All of them? All of them. Help them. Rescue them. Stay far away from that guy who shoots really quick. 
drawbush windows into dark corridor. When this window opens up, you must hurry as quickly as your drawbush light can hop there. And you leap through the window into the land of the Gorgolites, the cousins of the Trollobors, and you slave masters to the Drelbs. So that's a Gorgolite. Looks like a dragon. Uh, then quickly, ever so quickly, you can free every Drelb that you touch. But go carefully into that dark place, for the Gorgolites will perceive your presence and hunt you relentlessly until you are tossed back into the grid. Oh... Oh my god! Oh, one left. Nice job. If, however, you are successful in freeing all the enslaved drelbs, then you'll be transported to the bonus screen. Nice. And there, your bonuses will be entered towards a goal of freeing drelbs from their awful fate. Now you're on level two. And there's two enemies. No, I don't want to. They're... Ooh, does it go up to... <laughs> Why did you reverse course? Let's try and figure out where to go. Only your favorite friends. That's right. Yeah. And Not you, all the friends. Then you go back. You have to do it again. Oh my goodness. I bet there's a good pattern I bet to there do. is. That's like super efficient at turning them into squares. Yeah, I bet you're right. It's like circular patterns or something. You're doing pretty good there. Can I, um... Flex says, nice work. Get the heart! Extra life! Is it? Oh, it's not extra life. It's just freezing them. Trap them! Or just complete stuff. <laughs> that was close. Hearts! Okay, this is where we learned about heart. After a certain time, hearts will appear along the corridors of the flip grid. You must pursue these, for they are magical indeed. When you run over a heart, it will freeze the trollobors for five seconds, during which you can hop quickly and trap them in a square. Why? I don't know why you want to trap them in a square. Maybe we'll find out later. What, did those guys? She had a huge streak on the last board, looked like a pro. Did you look like a pro? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I was reading instructions. You're a pro. Uh... Uh, bonus screen. You will enter the bonus screen either by kissing the lady that appears in the gargolite boxes uh... or by completing a round of the dark corridor. You'll be awarded a bonus equivalent of 250 times the number of completed squares on the atomic flip grid. Then automatically you'll be transported back to the flip grid to begin the next round. So you could get a lot of bonus if you're going for score by almost completing the grid. Piggy got the piggy. Oh, nice. Ah. Oh, run. Ah, you're being ah. dare dangerous. Ah, it's scary. Can you trap yourself I don't know. inside? Because you can have an opportunity. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. I think, oh, you're almost done. You've got a couple more. Ah, I didn't mean to do uh, that. Uh, not to get hit. Um, I printed out the instruction manual. There was a link to um, to the instructions <sighs> in the Atari Age forums. It was nicely formatted. The Gargolites will try to pop into the flip grid. You will see their ugly faces haunting you. There they are, the green guys. Okay. Do not let them intimidate you. While they're deadly in the dark quarter, they cannot harm you on the grid. However, they will destroy the boxes in which they appear. Oh, He's my turn. You can read from uh, where are we? the mystery lady. Mystery lady. Whenever this beautiful face appears in one of the gargolite squares, hop quickly to the square and steal a kiss from this fair damsel, for she is mm -hmm. sad and confused in a gargolite prison. I I'm sad too. and confused. If you are successful in stealing a kiss, you will jump to the bonus screen. After all the enslaved drelbs are freed, you will discover the secret of the mystery lady. Ah, get out of here. Get out of here. No, I didn't want that one. Oh, one diamonds. Kids. Occasionally a magic diamond will appear somewhere on the oh. flip grid. Hurry, hop quickly to the diamond, for it will quickly disappear and pass over it. This will open a dreblish window into the dark corridor, so it's like a quick way to get oh. to the dark corridor. Screwhead tanks. The screwhead tanks control the perimeter of the atomic flip grid. They fire dreadful bullets, dreadful bullets, <laughs> that ricochet off the gates of the grid. Be careful to avoid both the tank and their bullets, otherwise it is goodbye drelb. Trollobores, these ugly square heads hunt drelbs just for fun. Stay far away from them if you know what is good for you. <laughs> lives, you have five drelbish lives to complete your mission. 
There okay. really is not any more to say. Only Dreblish Valor can save the day. I can't get to it. I what? got a diamond. But it's trapped. Oh, no. Now what? Well, maybe someone... Maybe it'll get freed. Maybe. I wonder if it stays there. All drubs everywhere. If right. all boxes enclose you, a nearby will for form an escape route. Uh, that's smart. So okay. that you will get... Get up. Oh, did I trap him? No, I trapped him. Sorry. Okay. Ah, ah! Yeah. Did you read everything? Yep. Almost all of them, uh, except for that middle one where he's lounging around. Oh, now somebody destroyed him. Did I get them all? Oh, it just destroyed itself. Oh, oh, I have to go inside to do it. Mm -mm -mm. You could have created it. Really? Yep. Oh. Go up. No, no, no. What are you doing? There you go. Making awesome boxes. Awesome boxes. There Look at go. that grid. Look at that perfect grid. I think that's the best you can do. Of course, I don't have um, an entrance. Not yet. There it is. There they go. Oh, no. Oh, my God. There you go. Just wait. Yeah. Just wait on one. There you go. Waste yeah. of a life. Very nice. Nice grid. Yeah, mm. I was very happy with that grid. Mm. Accidental, though. Completely accidental. Shall we talk about what other games we've been playing lately? Yes. <laughs> Evil, addictive games, oh. unfortunately. Yeah, so Baldur's Gate 3 got released. <laughs> yep, and oh boy, it's good. Oh. Oh boy, it's really good. And I got James playing it, yep. which he, I don't think you've played Baldur's Gate 2 or... You don't play... You play, nope. like, first-person shooter game? Like, like Fallout-type games, but I not play, RPG? I play Fallout. Turn-based, sort of, not in the same turn -based. way? Not turn-based. No, this yeah. is probably one of the first turn-based in a long time that I played. Yeah. Um, it's it's very very in depth. Um, yeah. I love I love oh, what? Baldur's Gate. I was very excited to see Baldur's Gate three, oh, and uh, oh, uh, shot. The suit of the heart. Oh. Make oh. like a nice grid again. Oh. Um, but uh, oh, yeah, I, I got. It up already. I bought the game. I yep. bought the game. <laughs> like that match. <laughs> but no, you bought it. Initially. I bought the game, yeah. and then James is like, "Oh, I'd like to try it." And then I'm pretty sure you spent all of, all the day on Tuesday. So um, yeah, it's pretty fun. Though. It's really, really good. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Brenda goes, "No, don't say that. I'm trying to not." So I'm don't I'm buy so it. I'm so gonna get it this week. <laughs> don't buy it unless you want all your yep. free time to go bye bye. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Because it will. It'll all go away. All your free time. Yes. I have this wonderful cup. Have I shown them my cup before? I got it from Rogers. Oh, that. In like 2003. Yeah, it's uh, very apropos when it's her turn to feed the cats. So this gets me in early? Does this end the level? Do I go back to the level? So... Rogers is like a cell service company, but they also provided cable. And for a while, they actually had video game rental stores. And then eventually, they got into game rentals. But they were like a big company. And they would have all kinds of promotions, and they had free cups when you rented, rented again. Something. I don't game. know, or discount cups? I don't know. And so you got your choice from like, I think there were about like eight different designs. They're all video game related cups? Yeah, but they were like little warning signs. So this is the one I got and I still have it from like 2003 or something. Here, go to the camera. It's okay, I'll go to the, oh. Yeah. I have to go back just a little bit. One more. Can you see it? It basically is a little sign and it has someone playing a video game and their girlfriends mm -hmm. standing next to them and it says neglecting at the bottom, which I thought was hilarious. Hilarious! Hilarious! So when it's her turn to feed the cats and they're meowing, and they're meowing. 
What are you doing? Please don't destroy anything on that shelf. Uh, the sound says otherwise. No, it was just a tinnamids. Uh huh. <laughs> this time it was. Uh, I'm watching streaming play Boulder's Gate 3. I need the time for game development. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you need time. Dreb, what is this Dreb? Is a Ukrainian world meaning elf. Oh, That's cute. Ah, thank you, Flex. Okay, your turn. Oh, and Flex says he uh, interviewed the original game designer, Kelly Jones, of this game. He later made Nerf Arena Blast. Nice. Play, it, play it, press button, it's noisy. Um, here's a link if you want to watch it. Oh, cool, like actual, like on camera interview, not just about, like for the game, so you know how to make it. That's very cool, thank you. My friend's been playing that every time I see them on stream lately. I've never played any of them. If, if, it's very involved. Well, yeah. Like in terms of spells and items. And leveling and up. Leveling up, but um, oh. Oh. Okay. Just, I just stay away so from them. I'm sweaty. Uh, <laughs> I'm blaming that right now. I'm blaming the heat. That's right. It's all the heat's fault. Um, but after a while, I got very used to things, and it's like, oh, it's not so bad. Hard move. You didn't get it. Didn't get it? No, it moved. Like just at the last second. Trap yourself. Let me see what happens. Why would I trap uh, myself? Why would I trap myself? Because he said you can escape. There's the diamond. Where? Gone. Oh my gosh, that was fast. Yeah, you probably wouldn't have been able to get over to it. It's too fast. Oh, oh you're dead. Nice. It was a lot faster this time. Rescue your drobs! Rescue them! Yeah, you were much faster this time. Because you understood how to make the squares a bit better. So this game is available in the Atari Age forums. There's a link there. Um, just search for Drelbs 7800. He does tend to hang around the remaining What's ones. Yeah. yeah. Which, which makes sense. Ooh, so dangerous. Nice. Oh. But it goes after you as well. Oh. Is there anything that affects the number of drelbs you were asking in the bonus round? It didn't say anything about that. I'm guessing not, because you're just rescuing your friends from the level, but could. I wonder what would affect it. Alright, uh, Dangerous heart. You're going for the perfect? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Actually, I don't think the perfect is the best. It's not, because it's hard to navigate through it. Best is so you can get access to every single one of them. Can you trap them? Doesn't really help ah. too much. Does a little. No, run ah. for the ball! <laughs> Why is that ball going for so long? It's a Mr. Do ball. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, Flex says, yes, as levels progress, there'll be more and more friends to rescue, and eventually the whole screen is full of them. Oh, okay. So it's based on what level you're on, not what you do in this screen. It dictates the number of drops to rescue. Thanks, Flex. See, Flex would know. Oh my God, that was very close. <laughs> Flex would know, because he made a port of this game um, for yeah. other systems. Yay, bonus! Bonus! Yeah, an easy one. Ah, run! This is a really fun game. It is. Because it's of got the such flexibility. A puzzly element to it. And yeah. And the flexibility of the puzzles. Like, you can make tons of different squares, and there's multiple creatures that do different things. Like, the the screw tank? What's that? Screw tank? Shoots at you, but only sometimes. Only sometimes. Only when it feels like it. 
and sometimes it's hard to know whether you've completed all the squares. Yeah, you're like, you're like did, did I, I do, do it? it? Did I? Ah! Oh, what a, oh. uh, ran right into him. Terrible. But I haven't had enough new 7800 games to, um, to do 7800 day, so I'm like, oh, ducks away. Ducks away. Ducks away. Then I can make a, make, oh. oh, make a 7800 day and include drums finally. So very happy. Ooh, dangerous. No. Oh no. Even with two enemies on the screen, it's much harder. Oh, it's really hard. Flex, does it go up to eight enemies on the eighth screen? That would be really hard. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I really wish they could enclose themselves in. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> oh my goodness. The good thing about this is that you can run right through. Like, you're never limited by those gates. Um, they don't block you. The only thing that blocks you is the completed. Ooh. <laughs> the most is four enemies. Yeah, I would think eight would just be too many on the screen. Two guards and two tanks. Okay. And they go at rapid speed. Oh, God. Ooh, get the diamond. Let's go. It's too quick. That diamond's very fast because it's a huge bonus. Oh, you can't trap yourself. There you go. What did Flex say about trapping, trapping yourself? No, it, 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 you'll, there'll always it be just, a door for okay, you to so get you out. Okay, so you can't trap yourself. Uh, one more down the bottom. This guy. Four, two. Do it, do it. There you go. I think. Oh, no, you can do that one as well. Which one? Right beside you, right there. And then one there. <laughs> Or that other guy's at the top. Oh, really? Yep. Hmm. It's hard to it's hard to keep track of it. It is. There. And oh, oh, oh. oh no! Now there's one on the right hand side. Oh, there always is. Flip, flip. Oh, and the oh, dragon guy whee! flipped another one. Those dragon guys. It doesn't say when you get extra lives uh, in the document, did it? Goodness. You get extra lives? Just says you get five. Doesn't say you get any more at a certain level. Certain to be a lot more aware of to be aware of at all times, yeah. Oh, I did a test using the laptop for Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And we will be able to do live broadcasts from Portland oh, Retro really? Gaming Expo. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Oh, yeah. um, because it's totally fast enough. As long as I don't load up the screen, I just do one thing with a minimum of a webcam and just like a simple overlay, ZPH at PRGE, then we're good to go. And then there's two options for connecting. One is the Wi-Fi at the convention center and one is the cell phone at the convention center. Ooh, oh, he's circling oh. around it. Oh. Level three, good job. Oh. Um, I can't really do a test on Friday mm. of the cell phone because not everyone's there on the Friday. Oh, I see. Loading up the cell phone um, usage. And also, and I bet not many people buy the Wi-Fi because it's pretty expensive. Not, oh, I know it's annoying. I swear to God, they're faster. Well, they probably are. Now there's two tanks. Oh my goodness. At least they're at opposite sides. Actually, that's worse. Oh, oh my god, they're they so are fast. They are faster. She made it to round three. Great job. Oh, oh Red, stay away from them. Stay away. Are you fast? I think you're faster too. I don't know. I'm just trying to move really quickly. I think you are faster too. <laughs> right into them. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. My that turn. Good. That was good. Level what? three. One Level more, three. One more run for me. Oh. 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 Yes, Metal Lunar, it's 7,800. Most is four enemies, two guards, and two tanks. Okay, so that's the max. 
Well done. Have you ever played Alley Cat? It's another great I obscure haven't. computer game made by the same company. I've seen it many times, yeah. and it's a cat game. But we play homebrews on here, so we don't ever get to encounter it. Mm. Ah! Stop it! Ah! Oh, ruined it! Okay. Ruination! You, need, you can get away with clo enclosing fewer, and then you also need ways to get out, too. It is true. So having paths is not a bad thing. I think you get um, more points by doing. I bet you more do if you have more. I bet. I bet there's a. Good job. Oh, you didn't get it. No. No, because you would have paused. Ah. I think the second heart stays on the screen longer. Than... Oh, can I get him? Yep. Nice. Get him. Oh, and her. Excellent. Good job. You're gonna have to go away when I do alien um, abduction because you're a bad cat. <laughs> After last time. Oh, he was a bad that, kitty. Oh. He was a bad kitty. He was a very bad kitty. And he was so proud of himself, I just have to say. So happy with himself. He was like yes, purring and did. touching me, like, haha, did you see what I just did? You ruined, I made, I ruined, I ruined, his I ruined game. James's game. He was on level <laughs> 17 out of 20. Yeah. And I ruined it. Yeah. I did a good job, didn't I? Yes, you did. Oh, that was close. Cool. in a way, but also very naughty in another way. Ah, Gamadev, good call. Maybe some catnip is in order to zonk them out before you make your patch Ooh, attempt. Ooh, smart. smart. That is smart. Drug the cats. There we go. Yeah. Run. Ah. He was still moving. Close. He does rape for a little bit right at the end. Okay, level two. Oh, I got it. I got an extra life. Flex, how do you get extra lives in this game? What's it based on? Because I seem to have got an extra life. Is it per level you get an extra life? Good job. Accelerated. This is tile-based, so you can't really turn around, like, super quick. Like, it's not instant turning around. You kind of com <gasps> commit no. to a... Oh, you yeah. lose the bonus. Sad. Yeah, Duh! Ah, let's go through this. Oh, that thing still goes. Bye, Piggy. I love the Piggy. It's so funny. Oh, I think you're at the end. I think that's the last... No, yeah. there's some in the center that just oh. got ruined. And then another one. Uh. That got ruined. Oh. And then another one got ruined. There and another one got ruined. Oh. I didn't even see that one. Oh, they're hanging right around it. Of course they are, and then that dragon's gonna wreck them right there. And if I could do that... Uh, can you read about the lives on the screen? Extra lives are a mystery. On some versions, you get them at 20,000 points. Oh. Mystery. I think that that's it. it. Ooh, I wasn't watching. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. All the green dragons come at once. Oh, excellent. Okay, let's hang around. Oh, God! Come on. Come on. Yay! Rescue my friends and go to level three. Go get your friends. Go get your friends. They seem really excited. Oof. Oh, the dragons are slightly different colors. Green. Yeah, they are. I like that. Oh. I was going to point that out before. I love that they're just slightly... One's more of a lizard green and one's more of a Christmas tree green. Oh, so... Oh... oh. Oh, wrecked. Oh, 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 got back in right away. Oh, they're all, they all got let go to do it from the beginning. They enslaved them all again. Yep. Ah, oh, you just got an extra life when you passed 20,000 points, so that's in this version. Oh, okay. 
Um, so I was looking at Baldur's Gate 3, yes. how long the game is. Like the, the full Damn gameplay. Damn it! Oh, ah! ah! <laughs> I pressed, held it down just a touch too long. 75 hours minimum. And that's not Good. doing any extra... Extra quests? Extra quests. Oh, I, I spend way too much time doing things I don't need to do, so... <laughs> That's like how sitting on stat games. screens. <laughs> sitting on what? Stat screens. Yes, I do. Arra arranging your weapons. Yeah. Do I want? Wait. Spells. Do I really want that spell? I don't know. Maybe I want this spell. The... I think I'm bad when I'm shopping. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> I just go I in, know. and she's sitting on the stat screen again. Yeah. <laughs> making making potions. Uh, we haven't know. even got do to I making want, potions Do I want yet. a charm spell? I don't know if I... Yeah, well, actually, it's there. We just... <gasps> Damn oh, it! Oh, my goodness. Extra stuff like seducing party members. I yeah. haven't fully gotten into that, but... They've all resisted my advances so far. Have they? <laughs> One guy seems interested, but I'm not interested. No. Oh, no, He's like, shame. we can talk about this later in private if you want. I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh my um, God! No! <laughs> One more. Yeah, they're pr they seem pretty aggressive from the get-go. I remember D Dragon Age, and like you'd have to buy them gifts. You'd have to you'd have to pick the right you know like like always have the right answers to all their questions, and and then like maybe mm. maybe someone would get flirtatious like you know so I don't know like fifty one. hours in. Fifty hours. Uh, well, no, I'm just joking, but. Yeah, this one, some of them are pretty, pretty flirtatious right at the ah. down, so. I should just replay Dragon Age Pro, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> Baldur's Gate is full of cheap dates. Cheap dates. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but we, I, I do marvel at the script writing and oh, the, the voice, voice acting and it is so good and dragon age was like that so too i good. was always so impressed with the voice acting in dragon age like like they just they're really really well done. origins there you go oh. i like dragon age origins um what was ah. the other one ah doing terrible this time origins and was it resurrection what was the last one what look Look. Oh, I'm inside it. <laughs> anyway, Origins is good. I played all three. Inquisition. I always want to say Insurrection, and I'm like, <laughs> wrong thing. That's the wrong thing. Oh. It also go. pauses them, too, so you can get a couple boxes completed mm. while it's paused. Dragon Age Inquisition. Origins You've is good. That, the you? second one was fine, but I just remember very little. And in Inquisition was excellent. I remember you playing Inquisition. I played Inquisition twice. I did two mm. full run-throughs. One as a fighter and one as a mage. Because God. they Getting gameplay worse. changes with, you know, your character class too. Like there's quests that you can't do. Right, yeah. If it's, you're if you're a certain race or you're a certain in this. Like you just you well, have different it's, abilities it's the same and... yeah it's the same pe um well it was the same people who did both games so what Baldur's gate and dragon's age i believe so oh wow yeah um that makes sense someone can correct me if i'm wrong but i was pretty sure they're they're related to each other at least <gasps> one more oh did i get it i think i think so maybe yeah, yeah. here they come here they come here come the gates come on yeah no! <gasps> joystick! Troubles! Playing the joystick. <sighs> but yeah, Baldur's Gate's been pretty good so far. I'm still getting used to some of the controls, but... That was pathetic. Okay. Uh, I gotta do one more. Mm. It's just pathetic. I, I feel pretty like good with my last round, Yeah, so. you made it to level three. Yeah. So... I'm a little slower, though. You, you fly through it a little faster than me, so... Yeah, yeah it's yeah. That's I, I do play games very fast, <laughs> and I don't kind of think Just about them. Just one more. Just one more. Charles Whelan, thank you for resubscribing. Oh, thank I you. Did I trigger? But oh, you know what? My audio is all funky right now. Is it? Okay. They should be able to hear it, but oh, we okay. can't because it it's is. going through the TV. Uh... Hopefully nobody. Uh, run, run, run. 
triggered any captains. Oh, I, I didn't hear any. It usually comes up on the yeah. chat, too, I think. Oh, it does, yeah. So, let's see. Oh, get the heart. Good job. Lock him in. Oh, there you go. Piggy. Get that, Piggy. Flip, flip. Oh, flip. There you go. What? Something should trigger. Oh, maybe you didn't get it. It's done that to me. Maybe you need to get it twice. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I really think those guys should be able to box themselves in. Attract themselves? Yeah. That might be too easy yeah, to... Yeah, I think you're right. Messing up the boxes. Did I do it? Nope. So some simple ones there. But he's hanging around, of course. Mm -hmm. And the dragons come. And they destroy. <laughs> Having your work undone. Ah, ah. Now where? where? In there. Oh, no. oh yeah. my goodness. Ooh, okay, I that's think. It. Nope, oh, more on the there. right. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. I think that's it. I think. Worm. Don't fire me. Okay, waiting. Pretty safe. Yay! Just one more. I wonder why I have so much trouble on this bloody screen here. Look! Slack says, do you think this would convert to a Vectrix well? There's a lot on the screen. Mm, there is. It's mostly lines. Um, it doesn't rely on color. So that's one thing. I do you think you could have both enemies? The one scrolling around and the monsters in the middle? It's all about draw time. Okay. So if you can simplify the way it draws, I mean having grid, like just lines, is good. Because mm. that makes it easy for the Vectrex to draw. It's all the creatures. Like this screen would be an absolute nightmare to draw. Because there's so many tiny little guys that you have to collect. Like right now it's fine because there's one. But with like a uh, hundred guys on the screen. I, I was just thinking about Spike. Varel starring, starring Spike. Spike. Yeah, because he looks perfect. like a Spike, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He has a very Spike-like shape to him. Ah. Mm. Um, I don't think it'll work on the Vectrex. You don't think but so? There's just so much going on. Is Ladybug on the Vectrex? <laughs> no. Uh. I know him. I, mean, I don't keep up 100% with the homebrew scene on the back tracks. Ah, that seemed to be chasing me. Um, but... Simple, like, drawings are better for the back tracks. Ah, 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 ah. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's so harrowing. Ah. One more. Mm, no, two more. You have to go back. You have to go back. That was it. That was the last. No. Oh, there's one in there. No. Oh, they always hang around. Get out of here. Is that it? No. Yes. Yes. Get dragon down here, please. There. Yeah. Like if there's some, yeah, if there's some way to draw these creatures simplified, like just dots, maybe that would be a lot better. Because then it can just do like ten rows of dots. And you have to collect all the dots. Then it'd probably be fine. Here we 
They're so cute. They bounce around. Their eyeball goes Super in circles. Cute. They're very cute. Oh, that was good. Oh, my God. Really have to stay at diagonals to these guys. Mm -hmm. Or go after they shoot. But, of course, there's two of them, so... Actually, they only shoot one at a time, don't mm -hmm. they? Well, I haven't seen two bullets on the screen. But the bullet goes off the screen so quick that... It doesn't even matter. Ugh, really? How? Go, 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 go. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Go, 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 go! Yay! Oh. Uh, level three? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. 20,000? Oh, so close. Yes. No, it's not level three. Oh, it is level three. It is level three, yeah. Yeah, they increase in speed a lot. Last millisecond it disappears, of course. Ah. Okay. Yay! Can you lose a life on this yes. screen? Yes, I so think so. But can you end the level? By going or to maybe the screen, you don't lose a life. No, totally I don't think bonus. you. It's bonus. So you, you still have to end the level. So right. this is you've got a bonus. So you get a bunch of points. But you can die see. on this bonus screen. Uh, I don't know if you can die. You go back to your you do, level. You do go back. I'm gonna watch because it probably won't complete it. But you never know. Five drelbs at the top. Oh, five on level three. That's good. Very happy. Very happy. Get away! I know that's your job, but get away from them. Shoot and run. Yay! Now does it go to the next level? Or is it just totally... No, I don't think. I think. No, it does. Oh, it is round four. Wow. So I you thought can it... end a round so early. So it's only if you die in it, it takes you back to your original level. Right. But do you die is the next question. Like, died. Oh, you have six of them. Wow. You did get an extra life. Oh, that was close. So close. You get extra lives after each completed level, too. Oh, okay. That makes That's sense. It fine. keeps you going. stay around the edges. Yeah. Oh, that guy just went so fast he got me. But the um, <gasps> shot sometimes ricochets through. Yeah, the shots do. So you do have to keep track of those. But the worms don't. That's good to know. Ah! Hi, kitty. Are you hot? Says, I can regulate my temperature. With my fluff. Yeah. Start hooked up. <laughs> oh, so hard. Ah. Uh. Oh, he shot me. It's <laughs> right beside him. How many bullets I get? Stop wrecking my stuff. Ah, and stop heading immediately towards it. Ah! Is that, uh, it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Oh no, there's one here. Is that it? Looks like it. Oh, it might be. No, oh, it no. got wrecked because the dragon was like in mid destruction. Oh, 
so many. So many wrecked. Oh, oh and you got that too. That was yep, unfair. It was unfair. Well, I would have died anyway. Okay, one left. Right? Yep. Can't get there. Yeah, you have to go around and go down. Down and around. There's a red guy there. Yeah, ah. Keep running. It's done. They're probably in the process of wrecking them. Nope, it's done. One of them. Change. Yay! Oh. oh, it's full screen. Wow. Is this five? Um, on my way to five. Oh, they shoot a lot more? No. It's a little hard to see the shot almost because of the, all the guys. Yeah. Same same speed. Same number of shots. They still don't shoot. One. <gasps> oh. Oh, I just have to go back in. Start over, of course. Very. One guy left. It's funny the delay. There is a delay. Between you getting it and then and clearing up the screen. There's so many. It's super laggy. It has to keep track of all of those. Which order you did them in. It's yeah. so funny. What a waste of memory. <laughs> but it's cool. It's I cool. Love, I don't think it's a waste of memory. I think I it's I love fantastic. the delay on it. Charles Whelan says, Bonus screen kind of reminds me of Solar Fox. Mm. Not a game I know, so. Uh, Solar Fox, you, um, you pretty much do this. <laughs> you go through a screen and uh, you collect everything on the screen. And there's things shooting at you. Very fun game. Something about collecting things is always fun. <laughs> Clearing things. Clearing fixing things. things. Oh, that was close. You get really close to the middle. Don't shoot me. Yay! Get up. You have to keep moving because they have to clear the screen. Oh, that's why there's a delay. There's a delay, yeah. What was that other game I was playing where there's a delay after you finish? Mm -hmm. And it's like, you still have to keep moving. Don't, don't. Ugh, right into it. That was a good run. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that was Level a good run. five. Very, very nice. Level five. Ooh, that was a fun game. I like that a lot. That's puzzling that's and action awesome I like it. Game. So it is available to download in the Atari Age forums if you want to play it, and you really, really, really should play it, that's for sure. Um, because it's that it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Flex. Yeah. Super um, fun. Yeah, really, really fun. And um, so which systems did you make it for, Flex, um, specifically? I mean, he named a chipset. Yeah. But you'd still have to customize it. Or does it just work in all those? Maybe. All those, maybe. Mm -hmm. 38960. Oh, very good. I like that score. Mm -hmm. um, so we are going to do an After Dark Take in a, a little bit. Tiny break. Cold, cold drink and we'll do Ten that. minute break. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I ported to 6809, yes. Um, but, let's see, coming up on the stream, Alien Abduction, oh. we're going to play oh. in After Dark. I'm trying to get to level 20, I'm fairly certain I can. Yes. Cats don't you, interfere. Yeah. You, you almost made it. We're going to do a catnip. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to calm them down with catnip. And, beforehand. And then, then, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, and then I'm going to try for... The hero patch. The hero patch. Nice. Um, I need to get 75,000 points. That's a lot of points. I think I got 55 last time. Mm -hmm. It's all about being quick. You can... Like somebody did a tool-assisted speedrun of hero and got on level 10. But usually you get on level 12 or 13. Okay. That's realistic. Mm -hmm. um, 
so we'll be playing those. They're both by the same person, John Van Ryzen. So we're going to do a double header of John Van Ryzen That's games. That's very nice, yeah. His brand new game. Yes. And his older That's game awesome. from at the 80s. I think yes. that's awesome, yeah. Um, and then uh, on Friday, I think it's Erlen's turn. Is it, no, no, is it's it Darcy's, Darcy's turn. Because Erlen was supposed to come last week, but he was right. away. Okay, so it, I think it's Darcy. We'll have to see if Darcy's so, up for it because he's he's been quite busy too. So it'll be the Summer, Atari eight bit day, and if yeah. he's not here, then ten ten you'll be here. Um, Who's here? Looks like a <laughs> period instead of a comma there. Yeah, gotta correct that. And I'm here with the cats. And the cats will be here, yeah. of course. Hi. So oh. uh, ducks away is a good start. Excellent. I like the premise. And I the, like the, the dog, four players. The dog is awesome. The the, awesome. the sprites for the the. The um, ducks are fantastic too. Um, I for hero, I'm probably going to use a ZPH controller. Mm. Um, not for alien abduction. Yeah. Not the setting for it anyway, because you need up and down like quick. Yeah, you do. You need a quick. So yeah, it's not beneficial to have a second button mm. in alien abduction. But for hero, I think it might be for laying down the. Um, because that's the only thing you do with down yeah. in Hero. So having that button for laying it, then moving immediately, it yeah. might be really quick. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, thanks, Rendered Ghost. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, 8-bit day to mo on Friday. I uh, don't know when the Mario Brothers is. These are all, like, don't know yet. Mario Brothers exclusive final build. 7 Ed Hard Game Drive special. ColecoVision special. Don't know when those are. Oh, oh, and I've added some more. We're going to be doing a live broadcast from PRGE. Don't know how much or what we're going to be doing. Definitely hanging around the Atari Age booth. Definitely. Uh, there's a Halloween homebrew special, so I can start building up any nice. scary games that I have not played, played yet. yet. I think we played a lot of them. A lot. A lot of Halloween themed games. We've exhausted the 2600. Yeah, exhausted we Exhausted the 7800. Yeah, we'll have to Probably find some others. Probably not the 8-bit. Jaguar? Are there Jaguar games? I don't oh, know. maybe some... Jaguar yeah. homebrew. Yeah. Um, some, some horror Jaguar games out yep. there. Uh, and then doing an After Dark in November. Uh, November. Atari Jaguar's 30th anniversary classic oh, gaming nice. countdown. Three days of nice. all the original Jaguar games. Wow, okay. So we'll get uh, more educated about uh, the early Jaguar, Jaguar games. games. That's cool. And then, of course, the Atari homebrew holiday special in December, late At December. Yep. So I've laid out the rest of the year. <laughs> oh, we're definitely going to be doing a light gun special. Yes. As well. Yes. That can be probably sooner than later. Um, I just have to finish off my list of all the homebrew light gun games. Hmm. And then also a four player day. We're going to have four people here. Yeah, Darcy, that's Erlen, always the best. Tanya, myself. That's always the best. It's going to probably be late yeah. September, you early so? October. Okay. Um, when it cools down <laughs> a lot. Does it cool down by the end of September? End of September starts to cool off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not buying three more light guns. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're very expensive. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so kind of mapped out. I'm going to put the, the light gun and the four player day in the schedule okay. soon. Nice. So I can start figuring Planning out where things it. go and filling in what games are going to be there. There's too many light gun games to list. Yeah. Um, but for the four player day, not as many four player games as you think. <laughs> Like, all active, actively have to be four-player at once, not trading joysticks, four at once. So they're Quadtari wow. or Paddle games, yep. and they could be on any system, any system at, at all. Yeah. And they have to be homer. Yeah. What kind of CRT? Uh, Commodore 1702, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to set it up just like we did the Vectrex stream. Yes. So I'm going to set up a camera between yeah. us, pointing at the screen. It worked oh, really works well. very well, yeah. Looked great. Yeah. Um, yeah, all ducks all the time. Uh, yep, yeah, playing on a CRT because you have to. Yeah. You can buy a very special light gun to work on an LCD. Yeah. But it also has to work with the system. Yeah. I think. Or maybe it's just the gun. Anyway, it, it will work. So we're going to use the CRT and it'll look just fine. And everybody who loves CRTs is going to go, yay, CRT! Yeah. 
Um, and we'll be filming it and I'll set it up so it looks really nice, yeah. like the Vectrex Good. does. Yeah. Seems small for a four player. Oh, no, not the four player isn't for the CRT. No. Four player is for light gun because you have to have a CRT with light gun. Four, four player pl is not for light gun. No. We're not having a four we don't player have four, light gun. We don't have four light guns. I would guns. be very cool, but we do not. <laughs> as far as I know, there's only one planned, which is ducks away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. You can use a splitter. Don't need a. Oh, camera. That's right. That's right. That's what I was going to do. I was going to use a splitter so yeah. that one goes out to the CRT, mm. but it'll still be on the big screen and I can record it digitally nice. because why you don't see anything special on the CRT mm. at all. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. That's what I was going to do. So anyway, we are going to use a CRT because you yeah. have to, but it'll be digitally recorded. Recorded, yeah. 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 Nice. Um, so we're going to take a 10-minute break. There'll be a countdown. We're going to get some more drinks. Yep. Cool down a little. Pet the cats. Pet the cats. Get the uh, catnip ready for yep. the cats. They so will have calm, catnip right after. Be yeah. nice and sleepy. Yeah. CRT is always special. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, beer time. Get some foamy oh, stuff. Yes. I may I may get make some uh, fizzy drink. Yeah, Maybe some even root pop beer. or something. Root beer. Yeah, that's we smart. do have root beer. Yeah, we do. Because we have a fizzy maker. Yeah, soda stream. Soda stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so hang around. Uh, we will be back in ten minutes. So don't disconnect. Just leave it counting down and watch the timer. Mm. Um, you're gonna need a camera on the muzzle. Of oh, the light gun. <laughs> oh, that's true. Maybe I can point the camera to the light gun. Yeah. <laughs> And overlay the light gun because the camera will pick up the light gun it should no the light gun um senses no it know. senses what's on the screen it senses what's on the screen yeah a small girl pro well i could just use the, the camera yeah. the cat cam anyway body cam we'll talk, <laughs> we'll talk more about that yeah uh when we actually do it yeah okay so stick around uh we will be back very shortly. Watch Dennis. the countdown. Listen to the yep. awesome pokey music. Yep. Um, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Don't leave. Bye. Don't leave. <laughs> <laughs>